At this time, I'm going to go ahead and introduce John Rommel, and he's going to go ahead and give us the overview from, uh, from Motorola. John? Thank you, Steve. I appreciate the time, and thank you, everyone, for joining us here today on this webinar. Uh, one thing I want to get out, just a housekeeping thing, I've seen a couple questions having uh, audio problems. Um, most people are, seem to be getting the audio fine, but you might want to check, make sure you're not uh, engaged through both the, t uh, the telephone and the computer, because that can cause problems. Make sure you pick one or the other, and if you're having problems with the PC, you might try the dial-in number and uh, get uh, connected that way. But uh, everything seems to be working well on our end, so uh, uh, that's the situation there. Uh, okay, so moving along, um, as I said, thank you very much for, for joining us. And what I really wanted to do here was uh, give you an introduction to RFID technology, what it is and how it's being used in uh, uh, the waste management uh, industry and why we think it's something that uh, might be of, of interest for you as well. So if we could have the, uh, the first slide here, Steve. If we could have the first slide. There we go. Okay. Um, you know, when you look at the, the waste management industry, it, it really is interesting that, you know, most firms are operating really the, the same way they have been for, for many, many decades. Uh, a, a lot of it is, is very manual operation. Uh, I mean, new tipper trucks and things like that, but a lot of people still just, you know, out there with, with guys grunting and, and throwing cans up on, you know, into a truck and, and, and emptying them out. Uh, very little, if, if any, kind of data collection as far as what's happening out on that route. So nobody's recording. Yes, I, I grabbed his uh, his trash. I didn't grab his, and he recycled and he didn't. So there's, there's very little data collection there, and because of that, obviously, very little or, or no analysis or reporting of that. So no way to do any kind of uh, detailed uh, uh, business analysis on on, on, on managing the, the people you have, the routes you have, all that type of thing. So the, the truck and, and route management is is very minimal as well. You have very poor visibility as far as are these guys going where they're supposed to be going, how long they're taking and doing that, uh, is there a way to uh, save costs, drive down the operational expenses, uh, because I have no visibility on, on really what's happening in the field. And, and then again, no validation of the work performed or the waste collected, so who's doing what and where. We, we really just have no clue what's going on out in the field. And, and, and the problem with doing that has been that there's just never been a very uh, effective way of doing that. I mean, you, you, I mean, they can take a clipboard and a pad of paper and write down Every time they picked up a, a bin, they could tip it and say, okay, yeah, I, I grabbed it from, you know, 100 Main Street, but that obviously is just very time-consuming. They could take a barcode scanner and scan the can, but that even is time-consuming. So there's nothing that's going to allow them to operate the way they want to operate, allow them to collect data at the, the same time. But that's what we want to talk about today, the new technology that might allow them to do that. So on the next slide, we'll see. Uh, what we're going to talk about is a technology called radio frequency identification, or RFID. Now, RFID has been around for many, many years in a, in a lot of different places. Uh, you know, I, I always have it there. It's an easy pass for waste haulers. If you're familiar with an easy pass system, most municipalities have them now. Uh, the fast pass, easy pass, whatever you have on the highways, allow you to speed through and pay the tolls automatically without having to stop. That's RFID technology. It's a little radio chip. Think of it like an electronic barcode, if you will, that says, hey, here's my number, here's my number, here's my number, and it broadcasts and sends it via radio waves, and it allows you to, uh, to receive that very, very cost uh, easily and effectively. Uh, one of the advantages of this, since it's a radio type of technology, is that unlike barcoding or, or any other kind of manual system, uh, there's no line of sight required. Uh, so think of a barcode as an example. For, if you had a, a barcode on the back of the cart and you wanted to read it, well, you have to search around, find it, and then you know, line up the scanner to scan it and make sure that it's read. Even if that takes five seconds to do, if you do that five seconds at every drop, I mean, that's obviously a whole lot of time. RFID doesn't have that problem. RFID works electronically, so you don't need to line up line of sight. Basically, it's an automated reading process, and by that I mean it records it as, as things move past the antenna that's going to be reading it. You don't have to change your process. You don't have to do anything uh, consciously to record that uh, this particular cart was read as I, as I drove past it. So because of that, it makes it very attractive for these types of situations where I want to record my movements, I want to record the, the data that I have in the field, but I just can't take the time to put that technology in and, and take the time to read it. 
Uh, RFID technology has been used in numerous uh, industries. It's being rolled out in the retail space. It's being rolled out in manufacturing. It's being rolled out in, in aerospace and oil and gas and uh, you name it, healthcare. I mean, people have a lot of things that they want to keep track of. They just don't have the time to record and write down and count the items that they have. RFID is allowing them to do that. And part of that is because it can read many, many items at the same time, so I don't have to stop and read each one individually. So the next slide we're going to talk about how this particularly plays for uh, waste management. Uh, this is a, a chart here that shows you exactly how RFID works. So here's a visual of what I was talking about. You've got a computer, obviously, that's connected to the RFID reader that has some antennas to it. The antenna is going to send out a signal, an electromagnetic signal, to the tag. That's a little example of what a tag looks like. Uh, these tags would be embedded, in this case, inside the, uh, the, the cart. Uh, inside of a plastic material. And I did see somebody had a question as far as temperature ranges on these things can it withstand you know, 30, 40 degrees below zero. And the answer is yes. In most cases, uh, we can uh, withstand uh, high temperatures, high you know, uh, summertime temperatures in, in the south and, and cold temperatures up in, in Canada. Uh, we put them in freezers. We put them in ovens. Uh, so really, there's very little problem there. So you've got the cart that's tagged. Uh, the reader sent a signal out. That, that tag doesn't have a power source on it at all, but when it receives that radio signal, it's going to uh, absorb that radio signal, modulate it based on the data in the tag, and reflect it back. So that one antenna and reader, which is mounted on the truck, is uh, going to transmit and then receive the data back. So it makes a very, very clean system. And then it's going to take that data, which is typically just an ID number, not a, a long piece of data, but just an identifier. And that's going to go back to some software that's sitting on a computer somewhere on, on board the truck that says, OK, yes, I've recorded that. Uh, I've got uh, tag 12345. I know in my database now that that's the 100 Main Street. And I can see that I read that at 12.17 PM. So I now know that I picked up the, the trash at, at that location at that time. And that's really the, the basics of how it works, but it's very, very simple. Well, when you look at the benefits of how this applies in, for a waste management system, you see you know, if you're tagging those cards, you get an automated recording of customer waste collection. So basically, even though the guy doesn't even know that he's uh, recording that data, as he uh, or takes that cart and dumps it into the truck, we're recording, as it, because it's going past the reader on the truck, that uh, this particular cart has been emptied. So with, with that, I can now use that data for all types of different analysis. Uh, one of the things, certainly, is uh, truck route movement and effectiveness. Right? So I can, if I see that I got at uh, 12.15, and I got uh, 102 Main Street at 12.16, I got 104 Main Street at 12.17, and I got uh, the next house up the Rhine, you know, 15 minutes later, you're going to wonder what, what happened in those 15 minutes. What did the guys do? Did, was there a problem there? Or is there, you know, they taking a break that they weren't supposed to be taking? Or whatever it is that uh, you want to determine out of your route, you now have visibility of where they were, when they were. So it gives a lot of traceability information. Certainly it's going to help uh, track uh, uh, exceptions with contaminated waste. So if you've got certain things in certain bins, you can, uh, they can record where it was picked up. Same thing with recyclable compliance. If you want to tag the recyclable bins and say, oh, listen, who's, who's recycling, who's not, I can get verification that I picked up recycling at these guys' houses, but I didn't pick them up at these houses. And if you have billing cycles that uh, uh, have discounts or structures or whatever for recycling, uh, you can get a validation of whether they're doing it or not. And then there, obviously, at the end is, is aligning with the pickup data. So you get a very good understanding of where your volume is coming from, where your activity is coming from, what you, know, you can use to set rates. You can do it for a lot of different things as far as having knowledge of what your actual operations are so you can set up your business practices around them. And that's really the whole beauty of this technology is that it allows you to, to get a good understanding of just what's happening out there in the field. Uh, the next slide is going to show you very basically you know, the, the components. I mentioned there are three components. There's the tags themselves uh, that would be embedded in the, in the carts. There's the reader technology, the antennas and the, and the reader that be put on the trucks. Then the software that puts uh, uh, sitting on a computer on the truck that manages the whole thing. So that's the three companies you see uh, represented on the call today. So Auto is the, the cart manufacturer, and they take the RFID tags and embed them into their carts. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. It's a very nice, clean system that they provide. So th you know, they're going to talk in just a second. We provide the, the RFID reader technology, and we are the leaders in that space and have uh, pioneered the, the technology for, for uh, over 10 years now. And then Concept2 Solution is the integrator that provides the software and bundles the carts, our technology, their software, and provides you a, a one-stop shop clean solution. And that's what they did with Hattiesburg. So with that, I'm going to...